that the best we've got? <laughs> Apparently. But it's all I want. Shanti, you've made my visit a very pleasant one. And I'd like to do something to show my appreciation. Oh, don't be silly, J.D. Tell me something. Is this furniture really out to be cleaned, or is there some other explanation? You don't have to worry about that. Did you sell it or hock it? Well, we sold it. Will they sell it back? And now, dear Shotzi, I'm afraid we must say goodbye. Goodbye? But I thought you were staying until next week. I was. But something has happened that I would never have dreamed of. And I think the wisest thing I can do is to get out of here at once. What do you mean? Do you remember the first time I came into this apartment with Loki? Yes. I came in here a subtle and aging widower. The pattern of my life all laid out for the rest of my days. Really? But that isn't the way I went out of here. You didn't? Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, absolutely, J.D. No question in the world about it. Well, I don't. Not at my age, anyway. Will you stop talking about your age? You'd think you're as old as Methuselah. Don't you know you're right in the very prime of life? How old are you? Forty. <laughs> oh, Shotzi, Shotzi. That's probably the sweetest lie you've ever told. Twenty-five would be a little more like it, wouldn't it? Oh, but look here, J.D., you don't want to go jumping to conclusions, do you? Look, it's no use, darling. I'm 56 years old. 30 years older than you. By your standards, anyway, an old man. Oh. Uh, now, we might be able to support this difference for another four or five years, perhaps. But what happens when I'm truly old? But listen, J.D., I hate young men. I'm trying to tell you, J.D., is that I've always liked older men. Look at Roosevelt, look at Churchill, look at that old fellow, what's his name, an African queen. Absolutely crazy about him. So you see, J.D., pardon me. Hello, come in. Welcome, Daddy Trudy. You're entitled to such a hope, I believe. Oh, don't let her kid you, Paula. I've got to be going anyway. So early? Yes, I'm uh, flying home tomorrow morning. Oh, no. I've got to. Goodbye, my dear. It's been a great pleasure knowing all you girls. Goodbye, J.D. Come back, will you? Well, someday, perhaps. <laughs> Goodbye. What time does your plane leave? At nine o'clock. Don't you believe anything I say at all? I believe that nothing could be more wonderful for me than marrying you. And nothing worse for you. Will you call me before you go? No, that's too early for you. Very well. Good night, darling. <laughs>